Hey everyone, it's Denise here, NOLA Collectibles, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm here doing a thread up unboxing. This is part of a stash that I had acquired the last time that I went on thread up and saw that they had uh, DIY boxes available. I bought a couple, so this is basically from when I purchased from that timing. So not current, um, but I did maintain my self-control and kept that hidden away so I don't have to look at it, but it was ready when I needed to unbox it, which is today. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. This is what I do here, unboxings and unbaggings and undarrings. I'm, um, I'm a jewelry enthusiast and I love collecting jewelry, wearing jewelry, and I also am a part-time reseller. So I do do some reselling um, in the jewelry category on eBay as well as Etsy. So anyway, let's get right into it. Um, you know, here we go, the thread up box. I'm gonna go ahead and open this puppy up. It's so sad that I'm not seeing any more thread up boxes on their website. I know that they had some on like yesterday, and of course, you know, I was on one of my groups and someone made an announcement and I totally missed it. So uh, they were sold out so quickly in the blink of an eye, they were there and then they were gone. Um, so yeah, so I paid $34 uh, for this bag, and this is kind of like what it looks like here. So big old Ziploc bag, everything loose and, and all of that good stuff. So let's get right into it. I'm going to go right here because this is just like what's front and center and in a bag. And this says the two bandits. I don't know what that is. Designed with love in San Francisco, California. Made in China. And it's got some information on the back, but I feel like I have seen these before. So I'm wondering if this, like, these might have come in, like, a FabFitFun box or something. Because I feel like I've encountered this, like, many times in unboxings. So I have to look this up, but I bet you that was the case. It probably came in a subscription box. But, so here it is. Ended up in ThreadUp. So here's a little pouch. Oh, this says Kendra Scott, which is very exciting. Let's see if there's actually Kendra Scott earrings or something in there. And I don't think these are Kendra Scott, but they are very cute. Um, gold tone with some like multi gem. This is pretty. I don't know. Are these Kendra Scott? I have, you know, I don't have so much familiarity with Kendra Scott. You know, like I recognize her. You know, um, kind of like the Druzy stuff and, you know, this very signature Kendra Scott, but I'm not really totally familiar with the entirety of, you know, what she does. But these are very pretty. They almost do look like they're genuine stones. So I wonder if that's the case. Hmm. These are pretty. Very nice. Cute. Very pretty earrings. I like them. They look like candy. I'm not sure, again, if they're Kendra Scott, but I will put those bad boys aside. They are cute. I do like them. I have this little stretch bracelet right here. We have this gold tone cuff bracelet with lotus flowers on it. And one of the lotus flowers has little rhinestone detailing there. And I'm not seeing kind of like any maker's mark there, anything that's like discernible, but that's cute. Gold tone, good condition. That one looks like that. So I hope you guys are keeping yourselves busy with all of the um, self-isolation going on and quarantining and whatnot. I mean, I'm trying to, I have so much, I feel like I always have stuff to do. So I'm just, I'm taking, you know, this extra time to cook some really good meals and clean my house. I'm like on a, doing a little cleaning spree. My house has never looked so clean. I'm sitting here, we're a little out of focus, so let's fix that. There we go, yay. Um, so this is cute, this is kind of like a um, dyed halite slab necklace. And this one's actually very cute. I like that it's purple and it's got a clasp on it that kind of looks like J. Crew, but I'm not seeing any J. Crew hang tag on it. But yeah, I do like this. I mean, it's in good condition. Oop, I lied, look at that, that's broken. So uh, never mind. not in good condition. So I have one of these dudes and unfortunately it's broken. Um, but yeah, you can definitely see there that it is dyed highlight. So I don't know, that'll be fun for like a crafting project. I'm sure you could like take that apart and, and make tons of stuff out of it. Um, I have this kind of like faux pearl gray Y necklace here. And it's got all shades of different gray pearls, white pearls, and this cute little um, 
center heart here with crystals on it and taking a look really quick. I think it says NRT. So I feel like I have encountered this brand before. I'm not sure what it is, but it feels extremely lightweight. It's not like the best quality. Um, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if something like this was sold probably at like a Claire's or something like that. It feels very plasticky. So we have like that. I have this like silver tone leaf necklace right here. This is, um, you know, kind of like, let's take this down, I think, because we need more room. Push these guys aside. And so, yeah, this is just like a silver tone, multi-tiered leaf, kind of like leaf design necklace. And again, this kind of looks like a J. Crew clasp right here but no kind of hang tags or anything that makes it identifiable as J. Crew. But that's very cute. That's, um, you know, it's nice. I think it's very versatile, very wearable. Just, you know, nice little piece that you can wear every day. And then I have this gold tone long necklace here and it's kind of got these little orange um enamel looking pieces components right here it's kind of cute and then dangling chains here as well very long and i'm trying to see looking on the back again no kind of like hang tag or um you know designer on there as far as i can tell this is just kind of like a cute piece of costume jewelry also has like a little bit of wear to the back of the, the part that goes around your neck. So around the back of your neck. There is this kind of uh, crystal point ring here with like a little bit of like a wrapped copper. And that's cute. It is glass or crystal. Again, not seeing anything on it. So that one looks like that. Kind of cute, right? A little crystal point ring. Not bad. There is another um, stuff, some tangled up stuff here. There's another little bag here, and this one says bobble bar, a little velvet pouch. Let's see what we have in here. Okay. We have a rhinestone statement necklace. And it is bobble bar, so this is in the appropriate um, pouch. Let me just straighten this out for you guys. Okay, there we go. So yeah, this is a very pretty like statement rhinestone necklace, and it has like all kinds of crystals in there, champagne crystals, and clear. And then um, there's also kind of like a little some of these like little milky ones as well. And I'm just looking to see that all stones are here and intact. And it's looking like they are. This is very pretty. This is a nice piece of jewelry. Um, yeah, so this is by Bobble Bar. Very nice. Nice special occasion piece of jewelry. Not bad. Cute. And in good condition. A lot of stuff in here. Yeah, there's like a bunch of cuffs. I'm going to take them all out. They kind of look similar to what we just looked at. These, you know, I'm seeing like a little theme going on here. This is like a rose gold one. It has a Hamza on it. And this one says Harmony. This one says Peace. I thought those guys look like that. And they kind of giving me similar vibes to this one in the gold, gold tone. So a bunch of those. I actually think I see a couple more. I have this lightweight statement necklace here in gunmetal, and then it has these um, trillion cut large rhinestones in a smoky gray and then a clear. And so this is not bad either. This is kind of cool. Um, very lightweight though. You can kind of hear it. 
So I think this is knee. I think this will kind of sell. It's giving me, um, I, I feel like it kind of looks like chain metal a little bit. You can hear, it's not like the best, best quality, but it definitely makes a statement. It's kind of, there we go. That one looks like that. I have this um, just little dangly gray pearl necklace here, silver tone. Very standard, uh, feels lightweight. Here we go. Just pulled a, a bang, I pulled this bangle bracelet out, which just looks like a hammered bracelet. Just standard kind of like bangle there and with that hammered detail. And with it came two more cuffs. So this one, gold tone with a star and a moon design. And this is the same. So two of the exact same cuff. Again, not sure where these all came from, but I now have one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So I wonder if they bought some kind of like excess stock and they're throwing them in these DIYs. There's a zippy in there and there's two, a Ziploc and we have two bracelets in there. And these guys look like this. This is kind of like in the vein of, or trying to be maybe like Cartier, like the Unclute un design, the one nail design. Just little cuffs, one is in this um, gunmetal color and the other one is in rose gold and it's got that nail detail right there and then it's also got some spike like little rhinestones here around the nail these are kind of cute they're brand new those look like that I'll put them back in their little zippy um and another one, <laughs> another one that says Harmony, another little cuff. I had this little organza bag here. I'm gonna go in real quick. <laughs> okay, um, these are, they feel like clay and they look like um, Super Mario, the flowers that eat Super Mario and from the Super Mario game. But these, I mean, these are really cute. I wonder, this have to be like handmade. Very cute. I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, they're. <laughs> I think they'll definitely sell. I mean, they're really cute. It's funny. Random. <laughs> okay, so we got some Super Mario earrings in an organza bag. I have this gold tone, brush gold tone beaded necklace here. And this one has like a little druzy centerpiece and it's very long on a brushed gold. And this one does have a hang tag and this looks like Stella and Dot. So this is a cute little Stella and Dot necklace. I like the coloration on it. I like the brushed gold and I like the blue. It's, it's cute. It's got little rhinestones here. It's a nice little necklace, not bad. Stuff flying all over the place. I'm just gonna grab this because it just flew. There is this little gold tone bracelet with a carved flower. This to me looks vintage, and it looks to me very much like Avon. And it kind of just like wraps around um, the flower like that. This is cute. It looks a little misshapen though, um, but I do like it. You know, it's very delicate. I like, I just like that carved flower detail. I think that's very cute. I'm not seeing anything on there, but yeah, this does to me like seem very Avon. That's cute. Tangles, dealing with some tangles here. Okay, and um, this is a incredibly long leather flower necklace. And so it's got these cut out leather flowers in black and it's on a black cord. And this one does say it's Chico. So this is kind of 
interesting. I don't know if I feel like I've really seen any like Chico's jewelry like this. It's really long. I'm talking like maybe 48, 50 something inches. So yeah, that's kind of interesting. Maybe this would sell. I don't know. It's looked like maybe at this point it's seen better days. It's such an odd piece of jewelry. It's got like these pony beads. I don't know. Um, I'll look it up. I'll see if I can find comps and see if people are selling it or if it's the It's a weird one. I have a pair of matching Shambhala style bracelets, glass beads here with the adjustable cord. Actually, I don't have a pair. I have three. I have, don't have three. I have four. Yeah, it seems to be like a lot of doubles in this bag, doubles of items. I think that might be it. I don't know. We may see more. So yeah, got four of those. Shambhala style bracelets. Boy, massive tangle. Okay, there's another wide silver tone bracelet here. It's kind of got like this diagonal like cutting on it. Nothing, nothing identifiable on it. I'm gonna take another cuff out. This one's like silver tone and it just looks like a big wrapped leaf. That one kind of goes with that. And I'm gonna take all these guys out because they're a pain in the ass. Oh look, two more of those exact same Shambhala style bracelets. So now we have two, four, six of them. Any more, any more hiding out in this bag? I don't think so. Well, maybe I see another one at the bottom. Wow, so a whole bunch of those bracelets. The simple kind of silver tone X open cuff bracelet. This one does say Stellan Dot, so another Stellan Dot piece. It's cute, looks brand new. This is huge. Another little cuff, and it's got um, crystal rhinestone detail, and this one is also Stellan Dot. It says so right there on the back, on that circle. So two Stellan Dot bracelets that look right now. I'm trying to grab all these big, huge pieces. Um, this is another piece of Chico's jewelry. This is huge, heavy. Um, multi-chain with this like black crystal detail woven in there and this huge centerpiece with rhinestones. I mean, this is huge and heavy, um, but this is a really nice necklace. So yeah, this will definitely sell and I think it would sell fast. Um, people look for these like very high quality Chico's necklaces. So I will definitely list this. It's super heavy. Okay, so... Another Chico's necklace, but this is nicer than the flower one. I have a um, silver tone necklace here. I'm trying to get this to lay the correct way for you guys. So I don't know if you guys saw, I did like a little educational video earlier in the week and i um, talking about Hillcraft and Castlecraft jewelry. I can't get this necklace to lay flat. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Hillcraft and Castlecraft was a brand, um, a vintage brand that was based out of Indiana and uh, I just did a little share of my personal collection. I can't get this to lay flat. These little dudes are the, facing the wrong way, but this is from Liz Claiborne and um, it's in nice condition. It's pretty much unworn. Do you see how annoying that is? Maybe it is supposed to go that way. All like twisted and everything. Yeah, I guess it is supposed to go that way. It's a little weird. See what it, it's troublesome. It's like, does not want to behave. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool little brand. And if you haven't checked it out, um, go ahead and give it a look. It's a quick video. It's under 20 minutes. Uh, and it just focuses on a really unique brand of vintage jewelry that came out of Indiana. Um, and they had patients of the tuberculosis, the state tuberculosis hospital who created the jewelry. So it's got a really interesting story. 
Um, so yeah, this is pretty as well and in very good condition. That's from Liz Claiborne. Um, okay, we just have this very plasticky um, turquoise blue necklace with rhinestones and um, it looks great on camera. It's got very vibrant color. It's really cute. It's actually a really nice necklace. Looks very much almost like a J. Crew piece, but it's not. Um, it's like a no name, doesn't have anything on there. Um, but yeah, that's not bad. And it's in not bad condition. So we're getting, here's where we're at with the bag. So we got a lot to go here. So I pulled this out, another piece of Chico's jewelry. This one is new with tags, although doesn't look so great and the original price on this was $69.50 which is absolutely ridiculous <laughs> that was marked down to $54.99 but um yes it's uh still got the tag on it and it's Chico's and it's got this kind of like fabric wrapped detail here and then it's got ropes and all kinds of mixed materials here it's very interesting so yeah I mean I'm glad it's new with tags but I don't know, does it look a little dingy? It's like reading a little dingy to me. I don't know if that's translating onto the camera, but it's new with tags, and so that's another Chico's necklace. Lots of Chico's in here. I have this like gold tone um, collar necklace here, and it I think this is made to be worn this way, front facing, and it has a dangling or maybe it's meant to be worn that way and that's supposed to dangle down your back but I think it was, would likely be prettier this way it's got a little um, crescent moon and a little rhinestone on here this to me also looks very Stella and Dot but not sure I don't see anything on it but that's very cute that little collar necklace I have this this um, bangle right here, and this says Japan. Looks Monet to me, but it says Japan. So it's a, it's a vintage gold tone bangle bracelet. It looks like that. I could swear this would be like Monet, but yeah, it just says Japan on it. So we have that. And then I just pulled this chain out as well. It was attached to the bangle. <clears throat> and this is like a little lucite um, circular pendant. Let me see. Take a close look at it. Got a little hang tag. And this is, ooh, this is a Lexus guitar. Um, so yeah, this is an awesome piece of jewelry. Um, a Lexus guitar, high end, works in a lot of lucite, um, sold at higher end department stores, used to be sold at higher end department stores. I remember when this was this brand was huge and and this brand was big in like I would say 2006 through 2010 and um she was like in every magazine and she you know kind of like brought this loose like style back and she'd do like a lot of bangle bracelets and stuff like that um this is very pretty I'm loving this like centerpiece this is gorgeous it's like this textured lucite yeah, so that's a really pretty piece. That's a nice little surprise. And it's on this um, neck, gold tone necklace. And it's got a few little like adjustable extension pieces here. <clears throat> this is nice. You know, I um, I watch Texas Gal Treasures. I'm a big fan of her channel. And I feel it. And she also recently actually pulled some Alexis Batar out of, a, I think, a thread up box as well. So um, that's so funny. There's a, a little bit of a Lexus guitar going around in the thread up boxes. Oh, this box came from Phoenix. I don't think I told you guys that, but um, I had never gotten boxes previously from Phoenix. And then when I ordered this past two, um, they both came from Phoenix. This is very pretty. I think so far this is my favorite piece. It's lovely. Very nice. Um, have this kind of antique gold or I don't know what you would call this antique look necklace here with this kind of art deco looking station no tags or anything on that one there is a little um Disneyland and it says diamond celebration resort is that, that sounds like a timeshare 
<laughs> okay. All right. And so there's just like some charms in here. It says diamond. And then you got the magic kingdom. It says happily ever after. Maybe they give this to people who got married there. And this one says 60, 60 years, maybe. Yeah. 60 years. I don't know. I have no idea. I'll throw those back in there and I'll do some research. I have no idea what those are. Some kind of tokens. I was hoping for some Disney jewelry. All right. I have this very heavy, um, be like, um, beaded bracelet here. Gold tone. This is cute. Looking here. Got the tag says Kate Spade. Okay, so this is a little Kate Spade um, bracelet. This is pretty. That's cute. I like these little like gold wrapped um, beads here. This is cute. It's like a little cha cha bracelet. Like that. It's a nice size. It's cute. I'll take some Kate Spade. Sure. I like that as well. Nice. Not bad. And so we're going to set the bottom of the bag here. We're looking like this. We're getting to the small. Here's that other Shambhala bracelet. Add that to the pile. Here, there's a watch down here. And so there's this watch, which I thought for a second was running, but I guess not. That's very pretty. Gold tone, diamond bezel or crystal bezel. Um, looks like it has, this looks like a nice watch. It says on the back, um, it's got a little bit of wear to it. I'm trying to figure out what this brand is. Hold on a second, see if we can open this puppy up. Okay, and this one says it's Daniel Steiger. And this is what this looks like. This looks like a nice watch. This um, has some real heft to it. I like the bezels. You see these like bezels right here. That's a really nice, I'm not familiar with this, but this feels like quality to me. So I'm wondering if it's just, um, just needs a battery. What the status is here. It has a screw back. So I'm wondering if maybe I can get in there and just pop the back open. I don't know if I have any watch batteries. This is a nice watch though. This feels very quality to me. I have to, I'll have to do more research and look up that brand, but just from the heft of it, it, it definitely feels like a higher end watch, but I'm not familiar with that one. Stuff in, a lot of stuff in here. It's very tangled. bag another bag pull out some earrings here that look like they could be pairs some very tangled jewelry in here I think there's okay. okay, let's put this aside. I pulled this bracelet out here, silver tone, um, very heavy, and um, let's see, looking at this, got a little heart in the back. Ooh, this, ooh, this is Judith Ripka. Okay, okay, Judith Ripka is um is fairly expensive. It says um it does say 925 on there so this is sterling silver it's got a, a lobster claw clasp and so this is a, a judith ripka piece um there's like definitely wear to this heart you can see the back of it it's got like a lot of wear and there's wear on the front as well um it looks kind of like rubbed but this is nice it's very heavy um awesome so yeah i think judith ripka i think was like sold on qvc I think I think it's like one of those like HSN or QVC brands, but yeah, sells for a decent chunk of change. So that's great. That's a nice piece right there. Big heavy sterling silver. All right. Well, as per usual, all the goodies are at the end. Let's see what we have in some of these baggies. 
This one is there's got some knots in it, but it looks like a little sterling silver chain with a heart there. Yep, let's see if I could look at the um yeah, it's got like a little 925 there, but it's very tarnished. So a little sterling silver necklace there. I'll put him back in his baggie, which is very beat up. I had pulled these earrings out. These are cute. They're kind of like little cages, and then they've got flower detail on brass. This looks like um, there's a kind of giving me like Lenora Dame vibes, which is sold at Anthropology. I'm not, not seeing anything on it, but those are definitely cute. And let's see this little. I have this little black chain. And this guy is just like a little owl right there on a black chain. So he's cute. These are dirty, dirty bags. These bags like look like they've been through hell. They're all like dirty and wrinkly and ripped up. There is this like silver tone chain necklace here. This is very nice. It's got all kinds of like dangling and cascading chains. I like this. This is nice. Not bad. I think that's cool. There's no um, maker's mark on it or tag, but it's cute. Put him back in his baggie. I'm like getting to the end here and there's a lot of earrings. So let me pull these out. <clears throat> and there are a lot, many of them are tangled. Let's see what we come up with here. Yeah, we're pretty much at the end here. I got this guy in here, hiding in the corner. That's that. fingers feel dirty. This bag is so dirty. Everything in here is really dirty. Just trying to find some pairs here and untangle some stuff that's going on. I hope you guys are having a good Saturday. I have to tell you, you know, I've been um, working from home now for probably um, going on week three. And I like working from home. I feel very productive. I feel like I get to get like a lot done, in, you know, in addition to my regular work. I just feel like I get to do, you know, a lot of my housework and stuff like that. So it feels very productive, but I don't know. The weekends, you know, are feeling a little bit different because you can't really leave your house. <laughs> so it's like the days in a way are bleeding into each other. <laughs> um, yeah. It is what it is. Um, you know, I guess this is like the new the new normal for the time being. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to stay productive and positive and, um, you know, fill my time. I do like catching up on crafting projects that I've put off and organizing, you know, my jewelry stashes and doing all that. Working through the death pile, listing stuff, um, photographing stuff. All right, still working on this, you guys. Lots of earrings in here, and I'm, you know, I am seeing some singles. I'm seeing some pairs. Broken bracelets in here. Okay. Yeah. That is it. Okay. Yes. Um, so here's where we're at with the earrings. And there was a couple of little items um, hiding down there in the corners as well. I have this kind of pair of silver tone 
um, dangly earrings that look like this. These guys are caught in everything, of course. I don't think these are silver. I have this look, circular dangle style here. I have, we have one of these like rolled paper earrings. I have one of these chandelier earrings. I have one of these like twisted rope earrings. Okay, we've got a pair of these little circular earrings. These look like very premier designs to me. <clears throat> Ah, you know what? This guy, I didn't see him. Okay, I have another pair of little round Swarovski looking circle dangles here. One little dragonfly, he'll be good for crafting. One chandelier that looks like this. Um, this looks very Kenneth Cole to me, just one of this one of these dangling leaf earrings yeah this one little um, ear crawler now this this was a Stella and dot but there's only one of them one of this very um, dramatic gold tone snake um, shoulder dusters and I have this pair here of faux pearls with some X's, crystal X's, and faux pearls, very lightweight. Don't look like that. You have to excuse my cat, it's getting near his dinner time, so of course he's like getting testy. <laughs> he's diabetic, and we have to give him his insulin, and so he has a very strict feeding um, plan. So he gets real hungry when it reaches near his supper time. These are the pair of chandeliers, these are not bad. They're very lightweight, they're very boho. And then we had this gold tone pair of hoop earrings here. This looks um, kind of kind of coalish to me. And also hiding in the corner was this necklace here. Silver tone has a P on the back. I think that's a P. Um, got a little dragonfly, a little dangling heart, uh, and a dangling pearl. This looks like it could be silver to me. Let's see have I lost my magnet no I have not okay this might be silver yes there's a 925 on the on the clasp right there so that's a nice little surprise that's a substantial piece of jewelry right there that's very pretty okay oh and also so there was a couple of sterling silver chains at the bottom the snake chain and um, this very long box chain. So that's not bad either I'll always take the sterling silver um, this is awesome so all of this is great we're at the end here so let's go ahead and like recap the favorites all the sterling silver always all good um a judith ripka sterling silver bracelet with a heart right there i do like this watch i don't know much about it the brand was um daniel steiger but it feels very heavy and substantial and expensive so i will definitely do more research on that i did like the kate spade um cha-cha bracelet that's real cute i'm gonna push this aside and um, the Alexis Bitar Lucite Pendant Necklace. That's very pretty. Um, what else? What else is stand out here, you guys? Let's see. Um, I did like this, like, vintage Avon. Of course, the earring stuff on it. Oh, my gosh. Um, this vintage kind of, like, carved flower bracelet. That was very cute. Um, this huge, heavy Chico's necklace. This was not bad. That'll definitely um, sell, I think. Uh, it's huge. Um, the new Tags Chico's necklace, not bad. It's a little weird, um, but, you know, I'm sure that that one will sell as well. And what else? What am I leaving out here? I really, I think that's it. I mean, a couple of cute um, Stella and Dot pieces. These little earrings, not sure if they're Kendra Scott. They were in a Kendra Scott um, bag. I'll have to do a little bit more research there. And I think that's it, you guys. Um, overall, I think this was a good box. I'm glad that I got it at a discount. It was $34. Um, and I think I got free shipping. And so, yeah, I think this Judith Ripka piece 
is um, definitely awesome. I think this Alexis Batar piece is awesome. So I'm pretty happy with everything. Let me know what your favorite piece is. If you know anything else about any of these other brands, this P brand, um, this watch brand, um, let me know. Let me know what you think. So anyway, thanks for taking this journey with me, you guys. I so appreciate it. I think this was a really fun unbagging. I hope I hope you thought so too. Um, thanks to all my regular subscribers. You guys know who you are. I so appreciate your support and I love the commentary and I like chatting with you guys in the comment section. And if you're new here, um, welcome and thank you for tuning in. So I will see you guys. I hope you have a fabulous weekend and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.